In this video, we're gonna talk about a transition chain where you start from the half guard and you're using the knee cutter pass to initiate it. So here are the individual movements that we're gonna use. Movement number one is going to be the knee cutter. So I'm here, let's just rotate a little bit. I work to get an underhook, rotate even more. So I work to get an underhook here. I drop my head, come through, I knee slide, and then I finish my pass. Number two is we're in this position. I step back, I do the step back pass here, and then I can work to finish my pass. Number three is he starts uh, underhooking me hard, turning into me, so I drop here. I can get either head control, arm control, put my foot in the hip, and then drop to mount, and then the final one is going back into the knee cutter. So here's how the transition is going to look here. We're gonna be here, we're gonna start the knee cut, and he's gonna pummel in, because it's extremely common for the person to pummel in, especially playing no gi. And then you need to move, because you don't want them to take your back. So, we're here like this. I'm working my underhook, I go to knee cut, he pummels in, I'm not gonna continue, I step back. I work this pass, he starts trying to tip me over, I step back over, and drop my knee to the ground. I'll show you a different angle in a little bit. He does not want to get mounted, so he starts pushing on my knee so he can push it in. As he does this, this hand gets an underhook, and then from there, I cut back to the other side, and then I finish with my knee cut again. So let's show you on a different angle. So we're inside the half guard here. I go to do my, my, my pass properly, but he stops my underhook. Then I step back since he stopped my underhook. I go to do this pass, but he starts underhooking me hard and trying to tip me over. So I drop. So if we rotate a little bit, you can see my knee is down. So just bring your arm up. My knee is down on the mat here. I'm trying to get the mount, but he doesn't want me to get the mount. So he starts pushing my knee through. I bring my hand underneath his elbow, drop my head to the other side, bring my knee back over to a knee cutter, and then I finish my pass, okay? Ideally, I wanna keep my head down when I finish this pass, but I lifted it up, so that way you can hear me speak. So let's do it a little bit faster here. So we're here like this. I work my knee cutter, boom, he underhooks. I step back, he underhooks, I drop, he goes to push my knee, I get the underhook, and then I switch to the knee cutter. If we switch our position, he has the half guard here. I get to work on my underhook. He's able to pummel. I step. He turns into me. He starts pushing my uh, leg, and then I get the underhook, and then I finish my pass. Once I get a, once I get like a super deep underhook, um, <clears throat> the head position doesn't matter as much, but it does help. There were times where I lifted my head up. That's where you need to pay attention to while you're doing the drill and fix those little mistakes. So let's do it one more time from this particular angle, a little faster. Here, so we go to the position, we go, we go, here, step, work the under, if I do not get the underhook, and he's starting to work here, I can step back. I can always step back again here, and then work the pass here, if he starts turning into me again, then I can drop and work my underhook sooner. Now I can finish my pass. So understand that with this particular chain, you may end up in a situation where you need to go back to a particular movement in the chain, and then you just keep continuing. You wanna be relentless with it. Drill it over and over again, and then implement it into your live rolling, and then also implement it into your uh, competitions if you're so inclined.